So we have been talking about uh, Scriptner for Jira on cloud. And uh, today I want to show you how you can uh, create a scripted field on cloud to display the last comment. For doing this, I will be of course using REST API and uh, I will uh, basically refer to my old post, old video where I talked about how to get a comment. Now I'm using a talent API tester and I'm using this uh, REST endpoint where uh, I'm using this uh, endpoint called REST API 3 issue followed by the actual issue which is I iOS 2-32 and slash comment. Now if I click on the send button it will basically give me this uh, response where I can see here that I have total two comments on this particular uh, issue and uh, we can actually see these comments here in the uh, in the response and we'll basically use the same endpoint using uh, script for Jira. Now before I create uh, the field I will use the console to basically test it out. So I will start writing the script get the last comment and when you're writing a script you can uh, start by hard coding the issue. This is what I have been doing in my script for Jira on server and uh, I am basically using the exact same endpoint where I am passing the issue key which is iOS 2-32 slash comment. I am passing the same exact header and uh, let us try to run this code and uh, for the time being I will simply return the response. And let us see how it looks like. I'm expecting the same, exactly the same thing. So basically if you compare it with uh, the talent API tester. So it is basically, I mean if you look at the body, the body is ex exactly the same. And this is what of course uh, I was expecting. If you look at the body here, body of the response. So instead of doing the whole response, I can just do response dot body and I, I can run it again and uh, now we have the same thing. Now we want to focus on the comments only. So what I can do I can uh, simply type in here dot comments and uh, it will hopefully return us only the comment part here. So yeah this is, this is looking good. So we have uh, of course this is all expanded but uh, if you look at the if you look at this particular part here, uh, we have two comments in this particular uh, response. So we are quite close to what we have to do with this particular code. And uh, one thing that I want to do is I just want to focus on. Uh, so right right now, of course, we have we are within a comment. And if you look within the comment, we have again a body. So I can do maybe uh, star. Oh, we actually want to find the last comment. So I believe we can do something like this because it is groovy so it should work and I believe now we have the body of not the body but only the one only the last with the very last comment which is the one more comment and I can of course verify it if I go to the issue from the UI. I believe in uh, building small fundamental blocks when it comes to learning how to code or in fact any programming language. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm fetching the last comment and uh, if you look here we have the comment here and uh, we, ju we just want to focus on the body and within body we have again content. So let us see what we can do here. So we, we want to basically again do body content one more time content and text so i'm just doing it like directly here i mean of course we have i'm sure that there is a better way of uh, parsing it but this works so 
body content uh, one more time content i i guess dot uh, text so this is this is this is what uh, we will uh, get when it comes to the actual uh, content of this and uh, this is all good i think uh, we are uh, we are quite close to what we want to do and uh, maybe i want to add some uh, or maybe you know a bit of uh, error handling so i can do something like this so let us say if the if the issue is uh, not there at all so it won't work because there is no issue so there is no last you can't really do last method on uh, an empty list so maybe we'll do a bit of uh, error handling response dot body dot comments so what i may do is if only do this when the comment comments are there otherwise maybe display some kind of an error message something like this no comments no comments on this so i think now we are good so this is something that we can do here i can again run this so for this particular uh, example we have been able to fetch the last comment and uh, what i can do because it is not really um, a text it is some kind of an array list so i'll probably uh, do something like this zero or zero just to get the comment part only and we we can always improve it later on we can always uh, make this uh, code work in a better way but i think uh, we have a code which is more or less working so let us just copy this and uh, let us go to the scripted fields now i want to apply this particular scripted fields only on uh, my clone ios project N nowhere else so let us create a new scripted field so i'll add a i'll add a name and uh, make sure the field status is enabled location is either issue content or issue sidebar so let us select issue sidebar and uh, maybe we can select the project name which is uh, clone ios and issue types all of them why not field type i think this is this is really important because uh, when you are returning something in the code it should match the field type so the field type is text and uh, i can uh, copy the code here now if i copy the code here i don't really want to hard code the value of my issue i want to get the issue from uh, uh, the issue itself where this particular field is going to be displayed now i think this looks all right to me um let us try to run this we might need to match the field type so for that for, for this for, uh, for this example i'll use the same ios uh, 2 hyphen 32 let us try to run and uh, we'll get some error no error which is great uh, let us try to run it for maybe some other issue in the list i believe this is definitely in the right direction because uh, with this feature when it is uh, out of beta we will be able to use uh, scripted fields and uh, using script scripted fields we can do a lot of wonderful things so let us start using the let us see how it works i'll go to the actual issue within my uh, project and if i refresh the page here i can see something uh, on the right hand side so something is happening and there is a there is a scripted field called uh, get the last comment and uh, i can add maybe one more comment this is my another comment so i can add it here and of course this is just an example to show you how to do this of course you can do a lot of other wonderful calculations if you want you can always uh, add more code 
but I guess uh, now you have some idea how to get started. And the good thing is that this will also work with the next 10 projects, which I tested earlier, just wanted to mention, in case you are trying to test it out. And uh, you're trying to figure it out, maybe whether it will work on next 10 project or not. And you have a similar interface, you can have this execution history, where you can do maybe logging if you want, you can take a look at the payload. And uh, finally, I just want to also say that uh, try to play with it. Use of course, uh, different examples in the console. For example, uh, if you are trying to let us say do something like get the value or update any value, you can always uh, take a look at these examples, plenty of examples for you. And always uh, go to the library, Adaptivist library, where you can uh, find uh, even more examples as compared to, of course, Scriptino for Jira on server, where we have access to the Java APIs and uh, we can do a lot of things very quickly. But REST API is definitely a bit restricted when it comes to things, variety of things that you can do. But again, now uh, you have the option to write code. And when you can write code, you can uh, customize it, you can uh, do a lot of wonderful things, because you're not really limited by uh, <clears throat> one endpoint, you can have combination of different endpoints in your code to create the automation that you were always uh, trying to create. So this is all I wanted to uh, share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.